Hi guys, Natasha with the Dave Ethel vlog. Does music ever move you? Does the beat ever soothe you? Does the music just put you in a state of ease? That's what happens to Charlotte Prescott. Every time she goes down to the subway in the evenings, this person that plays these soulful songs completely eases her soul and her mind. She doesn't like her job. She just struggles with a lot of things. But that's what's amazing about this story is that you get to see how Charlotte or Lottie deals with her stress. And it's in those moments when she's in the subway that she's completely at ease. This is Heartstrings by Melanie Moreland. And let me tell you, Montgomery Logan and Lottie Prescott have a beautiful, soulful story to tell. You know, Lottie, when she goes down there in the, in the subway, those are the times that she can finally relax. She hates her job. And this person that is playing the guitar, their voice is like cashmere to them. And this person just brings so much peace and clarity for her. So the one time she's a completely exhausted, she sits down and listens to this person play. She ends up falling asleep. And this person has a huge, kind soul and sat with her and made sure she was okay. And she wakes to that soulful voice and meets Mr. Montgomery Logan, AKA Logan. Logan is gorgeous soul. Like his soul is beautiful and he may have come from a bad past, but he uses his, his past issues to make his life even better. And music's not really even, it's something he loves to do, but he's a teacher and he just wants everybody to feel good and at ease. But he knows when Lottie's sad, he can see the weight of everything she's going through. And he almost like nudges her to find her happiness. Her happiness is with him. And when these two are together, it's very passionate and very soulful and very rhythmic in their times. And you could just see how Logan just lets her be herself. And she's sad because, you know, her past is also her future and what she's dealing with is her present as her mom and her dad. You know, they had something very sad happen in their life. And, you know, Lottie just always felt like she was to blame for it. And her parents kind of, you know, no more I love you's and no more like the caring of a parent should be. And throughout the story, you kind of see Logan give her a voice and say, you've got to stand for what you believe in and what you want to do. And, and that's what I love about watching the story is that you can't judge a book by its character. You know, everybody judge Logan because yeah, he may be scruff and tattoos and wears um, chains and leather cuffs and he sings. Everyone may think that he is a bum, but he's not. He's so much more. And, and you really, it's a kind of poignant this day and age is like how we judge people on the outside and really we need to judge what's on the inside and, and feel the warmth and security that this guy gives. And it's kind of just beautiful, this whole story. And I got a little choked up in a couple of the scenes. There's especially a scene close to the end that Logan's talking to Lottie's dad, Charles, and really just lays it out to him. And it kind of choked me up because it's the passion and the reverence that he has that he's like protecting his Lottie. And, and that's what's fun. I kind of hope that we get some side character stories of Trevor and her best friend, because that was, you know, that couple looks like a lot of fun. But again, Melanie Moreland, um, I'm just, anytime I see a book she gets out, I have to hurry and one click it just because she just is a beautiful author and she really puts her heart and soul in this story. Guys, this is Heartstrings and there's something I've highlighted. It says, I'll take you in so many ways you'll never want another man again. I want to play with you like my guitar. I want to pull the most beautiful notes from your body I've ever heard, my own private symphony, and you'll sing for me. That's truly what Logan does for Lottie. Guys, it's in the links. Go get the book.